Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII. Now, it uh, may seem weird starting on this screen than I normally do for the videos, but uh, and you probably can notice that my time has gone up by a little bit. I just spent the past two hours doing the same thing uh, we did in the last part and farming Mission 7 there to get Tetriadic Tiaras um, so we can dis upgrade them, dismantle them into sprint shoes. Um, I also went ahead and upgraded a bunch of other accessories and uh, weapons uh, because I made a mistake in the last part. I made a flub. The bomb cores uh, component that you get from farming uh, Mission 7 over and over again. These here, uh, you can see I had 31. I had 99 at the start of this, and then last part I sold them all, and I told you to sell them for money. And if you did, I'm sorry, it's not that big a deal though, because you honestly, if you're playing the way I am right now, you're going to get so many of these. Uh, these are actually very good components to use for upgrading. I believe at a times three multiplayer, you get 2885, something like that experience. So they're they're very good. So I went ahead. I had 99 of them, and I was about to sell them, and I was like, well, let me just check. And I checked, and I was able to upgrade a lot of stuff. So I have a Shaman's Mark and Sorcerer's Mark at star level now. Um, I did end up getting my other two tiaras, which I broke down one already. And you can see I have two pairs of sprint shoes now. Um, but I have another tiara that we're going to upgrade... Uh, here in the video so I can show you. Uh, I upgraded this in tight ring because that's nice. It gives you uh, fully upgraded. It gives you 25% uh, resistance to all elements. Uh, the other thing I did was it took me a while to get these two tiaras. Like I said, it was about two hours or so. And in doing that, I got a lot of CP so I went ahead and I upgraded my Crystarium a lot. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look, and this is another thing I can mention that I forgot to mention in the last part. Um, but I'll bring it up again that I, I've mentioned it before, but I didn't bring it up last part. Down there, when you're on this screen here in the Crystarium, down there in the bottom left, it'll show you what nodes uh, are available and what you have. So, for Lightning, for example, I went ahead and I finished off her Ravager. Her Ravager is done. Um, and I did... I finished one roll for each character. The one I was upgrading in the last part. But, what I forgot to mention is that what you want to go for in these upgrades is you can see... There's an accessory slot there that I got for Lightning. So Lightning now has three accessory slots, which is ridiculously good. And then there's also the, uh, an ATB level you can get, which I did get for Fang in the last part. So uh, what you want to go for is you want to go for that ATB level first, then the accessory slot, and then you just want to go for any abilities uh, you want. So, uh, for Lightning here, I did it backwards because I completely forgot about that until today. Um, I got her Ravager done. She got her third accessory slot. So now I want to go for her ATB level uh, in Commando here. So, we have 18,000 CP. That's not a lot to work with, honestly. But, you know, we'll get some more strength, some more stats. Um, I'll get a couple of things here. Uh, Vanille, I went and finished off her Saboteur, uh, which unfortunately had nothing in it on this stage. Um, so Medic is the first one you want to go for, because the first one she gets at stage 8 is the ATV level. So just do that, and then also the Medic has the accessory slot that you want, so go for that. 
I finished off Fang's Commando. Um, and now I'm going for her uh, Sentinel, because that has the next accessory slot. So we want to get that. And, like, this is just beneficial in all ways, because uh, we're also just gaining those massive stats. So, with uh, Saz, I finished off his Ravager. Another way you can tell is you can see there on the left-hand side, um, his Commando's level 3, his Ravager's level 4, meaning I got the roll level for it, so it's done. But his Synergist has the... Uh, his Commando has the Accessory Slot, and his Synergist has the ATB level. So we want to get that ATB level first. Snow, I finished off his Ravager, and his Sentinel has the ATB slot. His Ravager does have the Accessory Slot, so I have an ex extra Accessory with Snow. And then I finished off Ravager for Hope. And uh, his Synergist has the ATB level, and his uh, Medic has the Accessory Slot. So, just keep that in mind. I like going for the ATB level first, because I think that's more important. Um, but there we go, now we're all at zero CP, so that's pretty nice. We got some more stats. Let's do some upgrading now. So we just got that new Tetriotic Tiara. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing here is that I'm pretty low on the components I like to use. I'm going to use 27 Vibrant Oozes. And then I'm going to use... Nine barbed tails. That's gonna get me to level three. And then uh, I spent all my money on these turbo jets last time. That was a mistake. You actually do want to use these bomb cores. These bomb cores are amazing. They give you 1182. So I was a thousand-ish off from what I said. So we have 405. That'll put us at 15. So two bomb cores. This TR is done. Bam. Okay, and let's go ahead and dismantle that starred Tetriotic Tiara. And we're gonna get Perfume, Shield, Talisman, Sulfur, and Talisman, Shrouding Talisman, and another pair of Sprint Shoes. Now, another thing I wanna mention too is one of those items we got. This is the third Tiara we've dismantled. And uh, if we go to the shop here, Let's just go to Le Lenora's garage. Sure, why not? Um, you can see I have no money. I have 467 guild. That's disgusting. You know what's great, though? From dis uh, dismantling those tiaras? We get perfumes, which sell for 12,500 guild. So now I have guild here. I have 37... 1,967 deal. So I'm feeling comfortable now. Um, but honestly, I do want to stock up on my Sturdy Bones, my Vibrant Oozes, and my Barb Tails. And those are the components that are just the best uh, organic components. You use 36 of them on anything, it's going to give it a 3 times multiplier. So, that's what I like to use. Uh, and they're cheap. They're only 80 gil each, so... Yeah, I spent about half my gil there, or a little less than half my gil, but it's worth it for upgrading in the future. Now, another thing we want to look at here... is... I believe... No, I, I, I think we're done. Yeah, we don't want to buy particle accelerators. Yeah, so those bomb cores are actually really, really useful. Um, and you can see now I have a, a Magician's Mark on Lightning just because I was doing a bunch of different... I did a bunch of different, like, uh, changes 
to uh, be able to take out that uh, Petutius, uh mission number seven faster. And I ended up doing it. Uh, the very last fight I did before I started this recording was I finished him off in 57 seconds. And then on top of that, I got the tiara drop that we just dismantled. And I also got an Aegisol drop. So we have an extra Aegisol now, which is really great. I have the Sprint Shoes and a Shaman's Mark on uh, Vanille. And then now, as much as I love these tiaras and I want to keep using it, we're going to get rid of that and put a pair of Sprint Shoes on Fang. And then we also want to put this Warrior's Wristband back on her. I also upgraded her Pandorian Spear all the way instead of the bladed lance I was using. Um, and that's just because the Pandorian Spear is great for improved debilitation, uh, so her debuffs will stick easier and they'll last longer. And then I also upgraded Belladonna Wand all the way to a star as well, using those bomb cores. So... Uh, so we have spring shoes on everybody. Once Fang and Vanille get another accessory slot, I will be putting an Aurora Scarf on them, but they haven't got their next accessory slot yet, so... Okay. So, now what we want to do is... I want to make sure I'm in Relentless, and I want to change this back to Relentless. And I'm okay leaving these the way they are right now. I mean, honestly... Honestly, that's fine. I only really need Relentless for right now until we get to the next mission. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game real quick because we just did a bunch of shopping and upgrading and stuff. And now, uh, let's go ahead and look at this Waystone that we can teleport. And let's go back to that Waystone we unlocked in uh, two parts ago. Go back to that Waystone. Boom. Fast travel is a thing. And now we're all the way back here at the beginning of the uh, uh, the beginning of the uh, Yachas Massif. There's another destination marker, and I'm curious about that. So let's go let's go look at that. That means there's another cutscene down here we haven't watched yet. We watched the one at Padra at the Padra of. Archaeopolis that we just left. Now it's up here. Yeah, this is Padra down here. I bet it's over this way. It's over here. Interesting. Okay. Let's go watch. Let's go see what's going on over here. We are so beefed up now, by the way. Having auto haste on everybody. All of these uh, maxed out weapons. We are we are pretty beefy right now. Like let's take out let's let's take on this guy and just see how well we do. I don't believe we've got a five star on this guy solo yet. Debuffs on him. Well. Even though I have these brand new weapons, none of these debuffs are sticking. It's very annoying. What the hell? Yeah, he's immune. He's susceptible to imperil, slow, and poison. What the hell? Okay, 
always got slow on him at least. Okay, there we go. The peril would be nice at this point. Now he's staggered. You asked for it. And he's dead. Yay, us. That still was only three stars. That was sub one minute and still only three stars. But that's because, like I said, the target time is affected by your weapons and your Crystarium. So, uh, because we're so beefy, the game thinks we should be able to beat that a lot faster. And honestly, we should. I just got unlucky. I want to take out the slugs first. Keep the enemy all found. Get some debuffs on him. Ready for the next fight. Yeah. That was 27 seconds. Like, we are just so beefy compared to what we were last time we were fighting these things. Let's take out the tippets first. Like at this point, I don't even need to be efficient about doing uh, animation attacks. I can just, I can just auto change. Okay. Gotta be ready to drop by now. Don't overdo it. I won't. I know my limits, unlike some people. Oh, oh. now who's the tough guy? <laughs> what was that? A Grand Pulse Falci. Used to see it flying around all the time. And they said it had a home. Somewhere near Amber. So that's good news, right? If we stay on its tail, we should end up in your village. Let's follow it. Right. Alright. Quick little cutscene there. But now we can head back and head on our way to our next mission. What that cutscene did though, oh my god, lightning please. What that cutscene did though, unfortunately, is respawn all the enemies. But I got a preemptive strike, so it's okay. Let's see how we do with a preemptive strike against these guys. Right. Take out the pigeons first. You asked 
strike on these guys. I'm gonna need to wait. Please. Let's go! It's been a while since I've been seconds. Let's go. All right. We got to get five stars on this guy. Come on, debuffs. Fighting in this game is fun. Time for another approach. Eat this. Honestly, I should switch this to Smart Bomb now. Just in peril. Just in peril. Just in peril. Just in peril. Just in peril, please. Neil. There we go. Keep the enemy off balance. Star you. That one felt good too. I was like, yeah, that's a good fight. Other than lightning getting fogged. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to smart bomb. Or assassination. Assassination is better. Because the saboteur.
so now that we all have auto haste, the saboteurs will uh, slow the chain gauge down, and then lightning can just build it. Ready for the next fight. These enemies are like nothing now. I could be avoiding them. I just really like the extra CPs. Keep a cool head. Granted, it's not a lot of extra CP, but it's enough for me to care. So. Didn't even break a sweat. Why did you switch to Root? Huh. 
could have gone so much faster if, like, Be I did the next use fight. auto chain. But I'm lazy and can just spam auto chain. Spam auto chain. If that was even slow, I got four star, but that's because I was messing around. Thousand, eh. it's not enough I really only want a Crystarium now if I'm at like six thousand or something. Unless it's a situation where it's just like I need to like, get all of my guys down to zero. Just another battle. There's our next mission, but I'm going to go ahead and take a save and use the restroom real quick. This is why I can never be a speedrunner of, like, any of the Final Fantasy games. My bladder is way too small. So, I'm going to save my game, and then... I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Quick restroom break. Let's check out our next mission. And if you notice, it's that gray color, which means it's a waystone. Fast travel. A rickshasha lurks along the route to the Yachas Massif. And I'm supposed to hunt it down? I think I'll pass. If it's crystal or sea, my life is over anyway. I might as well make the most of it. From here on out, I live for me. Alright, mission commenced. Let's take a look. Alright, it's right back there at that waterfall. So let's head back. Hopefully, uh... Not all of the enemies respawned. I'm sure a few of them did, but... Hopefully not all of them. Well, looks like we're fighting all of them again. It's okay. We'll fight them because CP. Let's get more than four this time. I'm just too overpowered, and I don't take them out fast enough. I'll probably try disaster would be the best, or no, the uh, Cerberus. Maybe if I had triple potato. Break a sweat. Light. All right, sluggies. Keep the enemy off balance. Also, Fang needs to use bullets more often. I not use Blitz as much as I need her to in this, like a slug fight. There, see? Was just getting Look how started. fast that was. Fang needs to use Blitz. That's why I said if I went in, if I went into that slug fight with commandos, it would be better. Another battle. Slow. Where is there? That was really slow because I didn't know the next one. But it was still really fast, so. Nope, that was really slow. Okay. Would have been better if I just auto chained and let the flame straight fire. Really. Lesson learned. Oh, 
Didn't even break a sweat. Okay, 11 seconds, sure. Damn. Alright, wait. Okay, we've got three plans and a bird. We haven't fought one of these birds in a while. That's our mission mark. Looks like it's a damage bird. So let's go ahead. God, it was five stars. Okay. I I just went in, Libra the bird, used relentless assault, and that was it. Auto chain, and it worked. I almost died, but I just stuck with it. And I got five stars. So I'll take it. So that's mission number eight. For doing that, we get a collector's catalog. That's a very good accessory, which increases the common drop of enemies by 25%. So it's, a, it's very, 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 very good. What's my CP? 31. I don't want to keep fighting the same enemies. But it's also getting kind of late. So I guess I'll just uh, clear out the uh, Valus Medea one more time. And then uh, we'll head back to base camp and I'll call it a night there. Let's head back to base camp, uh, save our game, and call it a night, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun tonight. We got a lot of work done. A lot of work done. I know this will probably be a pretty short YouTube video, but uh, the amount of work I did. Uh, 
For the amount of work I did, I got a lot of stuff done tonight. Hardly worth the effort. I wish they were... I wish they were weak to one more element. I hate doing this fire flame strike shit. Time for another approach. Another battle. Yeah, it's see ick. Slowly, too. That was the worst part. Okay. Try dual commandos. What are you doing? There you go. I want to try dual commandos, double blitz. No preempt. See, that time I got five stars. Okay, I was right, yeah. Commandos just work better against those slugs for some reason. All right, back to base. We haven't fully explored the Yachas Receipt yet, but we will be back there later. Um, and there's still, like, that... There's those behemoth kings we gotta take down, dude, so we will be back there at some point. Not tonight, though. Uh, thank you for everybody for watching. I appreciate it. We got a lot done tonight. We've got our full set of sprint shoes. Crisperium is upgraded a ton to the point that we have uh, one roll completed for each character in stage 8. We got two, or no, we got one new waypoint unlocked, so we can fast travel a little bit more. Um, what else did we, yeah, we, uh, we upgraded a ton of accessories and weapons. We got a lot of stuff done tonight in this short amount of time. So thanks so much for watching. 
Follow me here on Twitch if you want to get notifications when I go live next time. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see past stuff I did, because most of the stuff I do here goes there, just later. Um, but here on Twitch, you can interact with me in the chat and chat with me live. Follow me on Twitter to interact with me outside this show. And uh, make sure you guys check out the Final Fantasy Relay happening June 5th is the start date uh, on twitch.tv slash RPG Limit Break, uh, where three teams of awesome speedrunners are going to race through various titles of the Final Fantasy games. And uh, Team Tonberry for life. Team Tonberry. But. No, it's going to be awesome. Make sure you guys check out the Final Fantasy Relay on Twitter and Discord. And uh, keep keep posted on that. I'm going to be not participating because I'm not a speedrunner. But I'm going to be watching and enjoying myself for those few days. So thank you so much for hanging out here and watching. I appreciate it. Till next time, guys. I'll see you. Good night. <laughs>